Hey, 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 y'all. Come on in. Come on in, come on in. Happy Terrific Tuesday. Just got in from my amazing workout this morning. Getting situated. Come on in, y'all. Come on. I know most of y'all probably at work, so you'll be able to catch the replay. Looking for my. Yes, yes. Hey, y'all. Happy Terrific Tuesday. Like I said previously, man, today has been an amazing day. Kick off to this morning. I'm feeling good this morning, y'all. Got my energy boost. Y'all seen I took my shot of Nutriburst this morning. If y'all seen my stories, then I went to the gym. My amazing trainer, Angela. Y'all, she don't play no games. <laughs> No games. This girl made my waist trainer fall off today, which is good. That means it's too big. But I got a good workout in, so I'm going to get ready, hit the shower when I get off with y'all, and go into work and just be on 10. Just excited. Man, I want to come in today. Are you guys popped or not? I know some of y'all looking like pop. Drink pop? No, we're not talking about that pop. What is she talking about? Pregnant? No, because I'm definitely not pregnant. No, are you passionate on purpose? Are you popped or not? I want y'all to hit them comments. Hey, CJ. Hey, little sis. How you doing? I want y'all to put in the comments. Are you popped or not? Are you passionate on purpose? And what I mean about being passionate on purpose, are you focused on your goals or are you focused on what everybody else is doing? Is your, pa is your passion so on fire right now? It's like, man, all I see is for all i'm doing is looking straight forward it don't matter what's going on to the left or right i'm just focused i'm focused on my passion i'm focused on my goals and i got things that i need to get done so i am passionate on purpose i'm passionate about helping others i'm passionate about pouring into people i'm passionate about getting my health in order many things i'm passionate about getting that job i'm passionate about Passing that test. I'm passionate about being a leader. What are you passionate about? Hey, sis. Hey, Tanika. What are you passionate about? Put in the comments. And why are you popped on purpose? Why are you passionate on purpose? Why? Why? If you don't know the why, then you're not going to move. If you just doing stuff just to do it, it's going to flop. If your why don't make you cry at times, it's not your real why. If you're not motivated each and every day to push forward and be passionate on purpose, then why are you doing what you're doing? We get so distracted of what other people are doing that we for, we forget what our passion is, what we what we really want to do in our lives and what goals we really want to achieve because we so focused on what everybody else doing. But are you pop? Are you passionate on purpose? Or are you just doing it because the Jones is doing it? Are you just doing it to get clout? Are you just doing it for the money? Are you just doing it to hit a noise? Are you pop on purpose? Are you passionate on purpose? I'm going to keep saying that so it can get ingrained in your head. Are you pop? Are you passionate on purpose? It's just, so many things that's going on right now, negative and positive, and it's like sometimes you get sidetracked. Cause I know I have, I've got sidetracked many a times, and I have. And the thing is, having a circle in place to bring you back to where you need to be at. Like, no, I know what's going on over there, but we right here. Like, we right here. <laughs> like my son say, we right here. Stop letting the noise confuse you on what you're doing. Stop letting the noise distract you like a squirrel, like you on one thing, then you going over here, you running over here, you trying to help everybody, you trying to be the um the yes person to everybody, you trying to make sure everybody good, but you not focusing on yourself. Sometimes you got to be selfish because if you're a pop, if you're passionate on purpose, you have to be selfish at times. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with putting yourself first. It's nothing wrong with putting your family first. If you're not here, how are you going to help people? If you're always putting yourself on a back burner to help everybody else, you're not going to be good for anybody. Now, I'm not saying you don't supposed to pour in people. You don't supposed to be a lending hand. You don't supposed to help. But sometimes don't be that person where you know what? 
it don't matter what's going on with me. You know what? I got to make sure such and such okay. But if you're not right, such and such will never be okay. So your health has to be in order. If your finances are jacked, your finances got to be in order. So sometimes you got to be selfish. There's nothing wrong with that. So are you pop? Are you passionate on purpose? If you're not passionate on purpose, you need to figure out what your why is for what you're doing. It could be corporate. It could be school. It could be business. What is your why? And the thing is, when we're not stretched, we don't move. So it's like you got to discover what your purpose is so you can be stretched. Because when you're stretched, that's when stuff happens. Like, oh my God, how, how did that just happen? I ain't even see that. And it's because you're stretched. God is stretching you on a different level so you can move forward. But when you're comfortable, you don't do nothing. Because it's the land of familiar. So you're comfortable sitting in that seat where you at at work. Or you're comfortable sitting in that class in the back when you know the answers. Or you know what the teacher is teaching. But you're quiet because you're comfortable. Because you know, oh, I'm good. I'm going to pass. It don't matter. I don't need to study. So I'm going to sit in that space. And then you wonder why sometimes you're stuck in situations and don't know how to move around because you're comfortable in the land of familiar. So you have to be stretched at times so you can see miracles happen. You have to be stretched at times so you can, so you can move forward on different levels. If you want to level up, you got to be stretched. And sometimes being stretched is so uncomfortable because it's like, man, I don't want to go through that. I don't want to. Why me? <sighs> why this? Why that? It's a reason for everything. Sometimes we don't understand or figure out the reason until later on, but it's a reason for everything. And sometimes God puts people in your life that you really don't know why. Like, okay, why is this person around? You know, I don't even talk to this person or I haven't talked to these person in years. Why are you popping up now? It's a reason. It's timing. Sometimes people that come into your life at certain times, they're there to get you to the next level. They might be the connection that you've been waiting for, that you've been blindsided because you haven't been popped. You haven't been passionate on purpose. If you're not passionate on what you're doing, other people looking at you, it's like, okay, why should I even listen to you or hear what you're doing or support what you got going on? Because you're not passionate on purpose. It's not coming from the heart. And people can see if you're not passionate on purpose. So it's like when you get, when you connect with people, you got to make, you got to have discernment. Sometimes some people come around just to be nosy, just to see what you're doing. Really like, okay, what's going on? What can I get from that person? And some people have a sincere heart where they really want to connect with you. But you have to have an open mindset and then take your blinders off to see who's in your circle. Because when you're passionate on purpose, sometimes you blazing that trail like, okay, I'm getting this done, I'm going to get this done, and such and such, gonna, we're going to collaborate, we're going to stop competing, and every this and this. Sometimes you go around a person that's been sitting there all that time just waiting on you to say, let's, co let's collaborate, let's do this together. And they've just been watching you. You might not get the likes, but people are watching you. They're listening to what you're saying. You're focused on the likes and you're focused on, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go live. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to uh, talk to this person. Let me inbox this person. And a person that's, that's the plug, that's the connect is just watching how you, how you work, how you act. That's why when you're passionate on purpose, you can see it in your face. You can see it, um, in your lives. You can see it when you talking to somebody, but when you're not pop, it's like, ain't no moving. Like, what's going on? Why not moving around? Why not shaking? It's like, if you're not passionate with a pure heart, then people see that. So that's why I asked, are you popped or not? I want to see the comments. Are you popped or not? Lenitris, are you popped or not? Are you passionate on purpose? It's not even just about business. It's just about life. Are you passionate on purpose, Rhonda? What are your goals? What are your dreams? People don't talk about that stuff. They keep it to themselves. But when you don't express what you want out of life, you sit still. When you don't ask, you don't receive. It's biblical. People say uh, people use the word can a lot. Can is not a biblical word. It's a fleshly word. 
It's a fleshly word that we use when we're frustrated. You think about it. The only time you use can't is when you're frustrated and you think you can't do something. Just like I just said, can't is when you can't think you can't do something. So it's like, stop focusing on a negative, figure out a solution, and move. It might, buy, it might be a wrong solution. <laughs> it might be a wrong turn you make. But when you're pop, when you're passionate on purpose, that's when miracles happen. That's when um, when situations don't look good, that's when miracles happen. But when you're passionate, people feel that. They feel that energy. When you got positive energy, that's when the right people come around you. But when you feed off negativity, People don't want to be around that. And I'm speaking from experience. So what I'm telling you is what I've been through. I wasn't popped at first. I was negative Nancy. Yeah, negative Nancy. Because it's like, okay, man, why such and such ain't supporting? Why such and such doing this?